Hey, what's up guys? How's it going? Today we're going to draw a swordfish. I'm going to be using this number two pencil and I'm going to be using this sharpie. So, let's get started. I'm going to start with a pencil just to get placement. So, with the swordfish, it's really important to get one uh, sweep of the pose. And I'm going to do that with pencil. Alright. So, I'm going to draw a really quick uh, lay-in of the body. I'm going to draw kind of a long oval for the body mass. It doesn't have to be exact, but just something you can see. I'm doing a little darker because I'm on camera. I'm going to go back here for the tail, and I'm going to lay that in. The body's going to taper down, and the tail's going to have two prongs. Almost uh, its own shape there. So they can be about equal. Uh, you can make one or the other larger if you want, but they're about equal length. They're you know in terms of what size they are. All right. I'm gonna go up here for the kind of dorsal fin area that he has. It's got a pretty long one too. It's pretty spiky. I'm going to just approximate, put that in there for lay-in, just for placement reasons. Don't worry so much at this stage because you're going to erase the pencil. I see that comes out on camera. Okay, cool. Um, I'm going to go back here for the bottom fin. I'm going to stick out like another spike. And I'm going to go back down here for the pelvic fin. Which is going to be, uh, I mean, honestly, I'm going to draw it a little bit longer than the upper fin. But you can do, you can make it about the same size. So then the most important part is going to be his mouth. He's got a spiked mouth. And a lot of them are open. Because of the, uh, you know, so many have been put on the wall, people's walls and things. It's got a taper from the top of its head all the way into the spike. And the spike is going to go off screen, I think. No, actually, it's on screen. Sweet. You know, on screen. And I'm going to draw a placeholder right here for the eyeball. The eyeball is going to be right about so. And I'm going to draw counter shading, which is what most uh, a lot of sea life has and i'm going to do, indicate that with a quick line uh counter shading is when you're looking down let's say you're swimming above a fit of uh above a fish you look down he's got a color like blue and you, you're not going to really see him it's for camouflage right that's when you look down on him when you look up you're going to see a lot of like maybe light you know maybe the sunlight and you're going to see a lot of white coming in. And so his lower half is white. So he blends in from wherever you're looking at him, at least from up or down. So, okay, that's a good lay-in. A good lay-in with a pencil. Good enough to move around. So we're going to go in with marker now, the Sharpie marker. All right. We're going to start at the... Actually, we're going to start at the nose. It's gonna be kind of hard. Be careful, because you're, there's a lot of long sweeps in this fish. You know, long sweeping shapes. Don't make it too too round everywhere. It's gonna have a lot of straights. A good drawing has a combination of uh, straight lines and round edges as well, like different round, uh, a kind of balance of those. Very careful when you draw that line, especially.
If you're having a hard time and your hand wiggles around a lot, I would practice on a separate sheet of paper uh, drawing straight lines with uh, the marker that you're going to use or whatever tool that you choose to use. Drawing a circle for the eye. Eyeball there. All right. I'm going to draw his gill, an uh, indication for his, his gill here. I got to make sure to keep that line thinner than the outside line that I just drew. At least make it appear thinner by like lightening my uh, touch on it. Going down. The pelvic fin. And I'm going to sweep across the body. I have a second tiny dorsal fin over here. Now I'm going to go to the tail. Tails are very important, so I'm going to try not to mess it up. You don't have to do it in one stroke, but I would recommend it so that it all looks uniform. Ooh, okay. Like this has a little bit of a different shape on the inside of it. Okay. Now I'm gonna be careful. I'm gonna kind of draw from. Lower fin here, up to the, there we go, try to connect the lines as well as I can. Careful to draw through the form, thinking of it as one large shape. And drawing that lower fin. So now I'm going to go back and I'm going to, do very, very, as thin as I can line for the counter shading. Let's see. Make it kind of wiggly is just a technique to use. Make it kind of wiggly because it's fading. Now I'm going to go back. Oh, whoops, one thing. I'm going to go back and I'm going to erase all the pencil lines that I had. Looks better colored and I really wish I could color it, but uh, this isn't really a coloring demo. So, but it is a uh, swordfish. So now you have a swordfish from the side. All right, guys. Uh, thanks a lot for listening to me if you're still here. And uh, please subscribe to my channel. I really, really appreciate it. And actually, one new thing. Uh, if you did enjoy this video, please share it somewhere. Share it on Facebook. Share it on uh, any uh, you know social networking uh, channel that you may use. Thanks a lot, guys. See you next time. Thank you.